Hello, this is a Gorilla Life. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I made this video to let everyone around the world know more about the Momotaro family. If you click this video, please subscribe to my channel and click like button. If you don't understand English, no problem. Please use the automatic translation function. If you click on the subtitle function, you will find automatic translation function. You will find your native language in it. Now, today's story. Let's get started. The difficulties in artificially nursing in Gentiles. Testimony from the zookeeper in charge. The zookeepers who played the role of Gentiles' mother explained the characteristics of the gorillas living in the cat zoo. This is the contents of an interview in an article. First, talking about the characteristics of the Gulliders' life in the Cat Zoo, I mean about the Momotaro family. The Cat Zoo's Gulliders' house was newly opened in late April 2014. This Gulliders' house will build so that the Gulliders can climb up to high places because until now the gorillas had been mistakenly so to spend a lot of time on the ground and they have in fact there are few gorilla houses in the world that can move all the way up to your ceiling as high as 30 feet 9 meters as in the Kyoto Zoo this is the most unique feature of the Kyoto Zoo's gorilla house the zookeeper who played the role of Gintar's mother went to the Republic of Gabon in Africa in 2010. There, he saw Western Lowland Gulliers living in very tall trees. Based on his observations, when the Child Zoo renewed the Gulliers house, they made the Gulliers facility as capable of elevating exercise as possible. The Kyoto has also since changes the Gulliders diet from a high calorie diet to high fever low calorie diet. After the Gulliders moved into the new Gulliders house, Mamtaru's muscle became tougher through climbing exercises and in his children became very healthy hanging from the ceiling and running around every day. This is a characteristic of the gorillas living in the cat zoo. The zookeeper who played the role of Gintar's mother explained the personalities of each member of Momotaro families. First of all, Momotaro is a big insect hater. If there was a praying mantis next to the doorway in the previous Gorilla house, Momotaro would sometimes not be able to come into the room in the evening. Also, if there was a fly flying around his head, he would desperately try to get rid of it. He also hates rain and rubs himself against the concrete floor when he comes into the room wet or walks on two feet when walking on wet ground to avoid getting sun on his hand. Next, Genki is not very fussy about the many things, giving the impression that she is a mother with a lot of guards. She is also very picky eater and is always looking for food. This is due to her teeth. In fact, she has almost no back teeth due to tooth decay, which makes it difficult for her to chew her food. She swallows her food, so she's always looking for food because she doesn't feel full. Back in the day, Gonga Gulir that used to live in the Kyoto Zoo suffered from tooth decay, partially 
because of the food he ate, and his teeth became infected and painful. Because of this painful ex- experience, the kudzu changes the food it fed the gliders. The gliders are now fed grass instead of fruits and other foods. Gintaro. Gintaro is very cautious. Perhaps because he is their eldest son and was a fisher nurse for ten and a half months, he is always watching the movements of his father, Momotaro. Kintaro, Kintaro's personality as a second son is so obvious that it is immediately recognizable. He is bold and fearless, and he is almost never afraid of Momotaro, especially when he is angry. However, depending on his mood, he can be a very spoiled child, sometimes clinging closely to his mother Genki. In addition, the gliders at the Kyoto Zoo, unlike their wild counterpart, don't have multiple females, making them a nuclear family. Therefore, by looking at them as a family and observing each of them, we can see the differences in their personalities and family relationships. Next, talking about artificial nursing in Gento. Main topic. The artificial nursing technique itself is almost the same as raising a human. So Gintaro grew up without any serious illness. The problem, however, was the mental aspect. When a baby goliath is artificially nursed by humans for two years or longer, it grows up thinking of itself as a human and cannot be returned to the gliders truth and cannot be involved in reproduction. Fortunately, Gintar was able to be returned to his parents after ten and a half months. Fortunately, Gintar was able to be returned to his parents after ten and a half months since there had been no previous case in Japan, the zookeeper went to the U.S. and listened to American zookeepers and others. The plan to return Gintaro to his mother and in, in turn raise him in a way that he would not be afraid of his parents. What worried him was, first, whether Gintaro himself would accept his parents, Momotaro and Genki and second, whether his parents Momotaro and Genki would accept Gintaro. He was very worried, but thanks to Genki's strong maternal nature, Gintaro was easily able to return to his parents. A further minor note on unofficial nursing in Gintaro. The zookeepers first fed Gintaro while letting him sniff the story with his parents sent on it before reuniting him with his mother. When interacting with Gintaro, all the zookeepers wore black clothes and told him that black was a reassuring color. This is because mothers play an important role as a safe base for children to feel secure and challenge new things. Well, what will the Chotsu do with the gliders in the future? There are only 20 gliders living in six zoos in Japan. We can already see the future if, if we only talk about the Kyoto Zoo. It will be important for zoos in Japan or in Asia to cooperate with each other and to approach Europe and the United States. In addition, 
in order to keep gorillas living in Japan healthy, has boundary training has been introduced, which allows gorillas to undergo electrocardiography, oscillation, blood pressure measurement, and the blood sampling without the use of anesthesia. We hope that the gorillas will be able to check their health without stress. And that the visitors to the Kyoto will be able to see the gorillas in good condition, learn about their charm and wonder, and become more interested in gorilla conversation. This story includes some of my own opinion and speculation. Please understand. This is the end of today's story. Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to my channel and click the like button, please. See you in the next video. Bye for now.